Skin, beauty, and wellness stacks. It's all about this week, Ashley. Good. I need some multitasking goodness. Me too. I was telling Ashley, I'm tired. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh. I was thinking, y'all, we just got off that one podcast where it's like, are you having anxiety in the winter blues? (laughs) So we can't make this one like this. I'm feeling kind of sad today. (laughs) We can't. We're tired. I'm tired. (laughs) Kudos to us for showing up though, tired, okay? (laughs) I think what it is, we have just been working so darn hard on the app and the membership and everything that we are. It's just, it's been a lot of work. It's been really fulfilling and rewarding, (laughs) but a nap may need. (laughs) Not a nap, just a vacay, like on the beach. Ooh, that sounds good. You know, covered in. I don't see that in our future, but we can dream. No, y'all, the other day is so funny because we have to be on video and all this stuff. And so we went over to my mom's house for a Sunday gathering and Lindsay was, you know, because she's an esthetician and we're sisters. So she's brutally honest. She was, and we've been working. So I know that like, you know, whenever you have a big project at work or you've just got a lot of stuff going on, sometimes you'll let things slide. So I haven't been doing my normal daily skincare routine that I'm like, usually I'm like, I'm so good about it. And so Lindsay looked at my skin and she said this in front of her husband, Jeff. She goes, your skin looks horrible. Okay. <laughs> you've got to, okay. You need a microneedle. I can tell you haven't been microneedling. Look at your skin. And Jeff, who never says a word, looks at me with his big old eyes bugging out. He goes, that was really mean. I go, I know. I go, do you see what I put up with? You know what's mean? <laughs> Not telling you. And some people just, it's like that person who's got the something in the teeth and they never tell you because they don't be rude. And then you look in the mirror, you go, thanks a lot. So I did something like that. I'm like, I'm not letting you have that thing in your teeth. I'm telling you, I can tell when my mom and my sister are not doing their skincare. It's so funny. And guess what? Ashley walked in the door today and instantly I told her what to do. And instantly I knew she had been doing her skincare. It's such, it's so cool to see that. And then mom, I said the same thing to her a few weeks ago. And when I saw her on Sunday, I said, you've been doing your skincare. She goes, yeah, I did my LED mask four times. I go, and then she told me all the other stuff. I go, wow, it makes me feel good. Like this stuff yeah. really works. It makes you feel good. But let me tell you something. It doesn't make me feel good. We need to work on a new tactic and stuff like putting somebody down and be like this. Oh my God. Like we need to do a positive reinforcement. That doesn't work with you. You know what works with you? <laughs> telling you straight up what's going on. Because guess what you and did? And add in a little details. Because <laughs> guess what you did? Your skin looks good. No, I did You do did it. it. I mean, you were so harsh. I was like, oh, it scared me. I was like, oh my God. It, bring, so, it brings yeah. us to our topic. We're going to talk oh, about skin, Lord. beauty, and wellness stacks. Because, you know, I try to be efficient with my time and I try to figure out what can I do to stack some things in to... because. Our time is very limited with us having children and being working moms. So and most people say, yeah, I, mean, pretty- I don't, I don't really know anybody this side that's not me. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of them. So unless you're retired, I would love to hear your skin, beauty, and wellness stacks. Please DM them to us at Lindsay R. Holder Ooh, on Instagram. Yeah. I would be fascinated. I love, don't you love hearing? Yes, I do people's routines and mm-hmm. I can't hear enough. I just love it. Ooh, what do you do? What do you do? I do. I do too. Like right now, Ashley, you're doing a routine. Mm. You are. You're drinking your chlorophyll water. That's right. You're right. And you just had your bone broth. That's right. So you're already off to a great start. Last yeah. night, you derma rolled. That's right. No, I derma rolled and then I did the, this is what I did, y'all. And this is what Lindsay taught me. So I did my serum. I have this hydropeptide serum that I did. And then I derma rolled after that on top of it. And then I put the peptide serum again. So it's like I derma rolled, you know. You mean you put it on your skin, then you derma rolled, then you put it on your skin. Yeah. You stacked that it. What I said? No, you just said, oh. you said, you, you said you derma rolled, then you put the peptide on, then you put the peptide on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm tired. Okay. I'm not, not going to say it. But, and then afterward, so then I got a, did you do your Lima laser after that? Hold on. I was going to tell you that I got, my new favorite thing is I got this cool tea that's got a dandelion root in it with butterscotch. I don't know. It's really 
God, it's so fun. So I heated up that so that the serums could soak in my skin. And then I put this thick moisturizer on it. So, and then I did the Lima laser after that. So it would glide. So the Lima laser would glide on it. And I got into my electric blanket. And then y'all, I'm watching my favorite show. Y'all probably have already seen it. It's an, you know how you'll find an old show that was like out in like 2022 or 2023 and you somehow missed it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. All right, you ready for it? Yeah. It's called Love on the Spectrum. Oh, okay. The one that- It is so good because here's where I'm at in my life. I don't want anything that's, I never like horror, number one. No, me neither. I don't want anything that's drama right now. Like, I just don't want drama. I don't want a family drama because I have a family drama every day. You know what I mean? (laughs) I don't, I'm just, my brain cannot have anything heavy and maybe because it's winter. So I want something extremely light yeah. And like feel good. And you know what? And so my husband and I, are, so I'm doing my Lima laser as I watch it. And the thing that I love most about this show is the honesty. Like they are just so honest with everything. And then it makes you laugh because did you explain what it is? It's so it's people that have autism and it's all over the spectrum. And so they go out on dates. So it shows. And so I'm also learning about people with autism because, you know, I just didn't know that much about it. And I find it fascinating. And some of them have, you know, little quirks and stuff, which I absolutely adore. Yeah. You and, were telling me oh my gosh, things. Like, sounds pretty it's cute. It's just so cute. And like, I'm laughing because this one guy, his mom was given like this speech about him, his birthday speech. And he goes, and like in the middle of her speech, she goes, are you almost done? I'm hungry. <laughs> I mean, like, like cute things like that, where it's brutally honest. <laughs> And then, and or like they'll be out on a date, and one will be like, "This, can we change the subject? I don't like this." Or Man, if say, we could just really do oh, that, I, in real and that's life. what it's so refreshing because they're so blunt, honest, but not in a malicious way, not, not being mean, just like, "Well, I can pay for it," and somebody else said, "Well, no, I don't mind sharing." Oh, good, let's split the check. <laughs> I mean, it's stuff like that where you're like, I'm going to watch this. It's the best. It is the best. I'm going to watch this. The best. They have the US one. Then they have one in Australia. So I love the US one. There's this one, my favorite person on there. There's this one guy, his name is James and he has blonde hair that's a little bit longer and he's so obsessed with his hair. He's my favorite. I love his parents are older and I love his parents. Like it's just. Well, I like how you tied that in with your beauty routine. Yeah. So you're getting like all that done. So you're taking care of yourself physically. And to me, that's like emotionally, it is. mentally taking care of yourself because you're relaxing and you know what you're doing? Laughing. Laughing. I'm laughing. I don't want anything heavy. No, I do not want anything heavy. So I really like that. So I have been getting acupuncture every Monday, you know that. And for a little bit now, I used to, you know, I started my career with an acupuncturist. It has been so life-changing for me. And what I do right now She's just healing my body still from having the baby. And right now I got really bad tendonitis. Acupuncture has been such a game changer. It's crazy that I have been getting, having to get steroid shots, right? And then with steroid shots, the doctor said you can only have three. And then after that, you know, either sorry or surgery, like one of the S's, sorry or surgery. (laughs) And so anyway, I told Dr. Ponton about it. And so she put, so I looked down, I had like seven needles or whatever in my hand and I relaxed and it was gone after that session. Like it's maintenance. I do it every week. And the reason is it's maintenance because I'm constantly using that muscle, Mm. but I take the time. So to me, that is my wellness session. And she's also helping with my C-section scar, which by the way, if you do have a C-section scar, holy cow. And it's like still healing. So she puts needles in the scar and then does that hurt? Yeah, it does. Okay. Some parts of it hurt because some are thicker than the others, but I have a break in my scar now, meaning you showed it to me. That's Oh, I showed it to you. That's right. I couldn't believe it. So there's like pink and then white and it's getting thicker, the white part. And then I'll do that. And then I'll also do silicone patches on my C-section scar to flatten it out. That's the game changer. And then I hope this helps ladies that have that also doing movement over my like massages over that scar tissue because you want to break that up Mm. you want to break up that tissue you want to get it moving you don't want it just you know stuck there so i'm doing all of that with a little oil actually that oil that we just got in i love it is Is it the ritual is that the brand Uh uh-huh it's called ritual yeah i love it it's a dry oil and yes i've been wanting to try it it's really nice it's and it's a dry oil which is like okay the dry oil is wonderful the applicator i know it sounds so silly but it's a spray right yeah but the way that the spray comes out 
is awesome. I know oh. that sounds silly, but no, it doesn't. Some sprays with an oil, you're like, oh, I know, and then it doesn't come out. Doesn't and you're come having to pump out, like you're five ha- times, and yes. it like does a slow downward drip. Yes. Okay, yep. you know what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking this about. This applicator, Ashley, it just. Sh- Ooh. It is so smooth. I would buy it just for the, the spray bottle. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? There's some packaging that is so well thought out that even if the product's not that great, I'm like, yeah, but the applicator's I, awesome. The applicator is wonderful and the spray comes out so nice. Why does it, no, I don't know if you know the answer to this, but why is it called a dry oil? Just because you don't have that, you know, regular oils, it's like, feel the oil. Yeah. This one, it just absorbs really quickly. And you don't huh. feel it. And so you can just easily slip on your PJs right after it. Really? Versus like, well, I'm going to be sticky everywhere and stuff. So I used it last night. It's great to massage with. Really Ooh. nice to massage with. And it's not that big. Well, I really enjoyed that. My acupuncture. I was going to say that the, when I get my needles for my tendonitis and my wrist. I have to tell everybody about this too. She sprays a spray and it is called, it's the craziest name ever. It's called Evil Bone Water. It is by Saint Apothecary Spray. She sells it at GreenvilleNaturalHealth.com, but it is a game changer. I just sprayed it on Ashley's plantar fasciitis and your arch of your foot. And you said that it helped you, right? Yeah. Is that like an herbal spritz? It is so nice, but it's called Evil Bone Water. And these are the things that it helps you with. I just really wanted to help you and share this with you. Carpal tunnel syndrome and arthritis. Holy cow, did I wish I had this when I was pregnant for my carpal tunnel. And I even had carpal tunnel before pregnancy and I wish I had it. Did yeah. You, have you ever Car- had that? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. It's Carpal debilitating. tunnel is the worst because who doesn't have to type on a computer nowadays? Well, that's what my tendonitis feels like. Yeah. It's, except it's there and I can barely lift anything. Yeah. It's so great. Arthritis, which I feel like all this is the same thing. Tendonitis, arthritis, it's all inflammation and pain. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Uh, yeah. But yeah, so it's an herbal solution with profound therapeutic properties. It helps with sports injuries, joint pain, spinal pain, muscle and ligament pain, bruising, sprains, broken bones. Wow, broken bones. I don't know about that one. Cuts. I might be stretching it a little bit. Don't you think? I don't know. Cuts and inside bites. I don't want to have to try it. Skin conditions and infections. But the skin conditions, I'm excited to try it if I have like an open cut or mm. scrape or something. And I want to ask them, what skin conditions are you referring to? Are you just talking about scrapes? Or are you talking about like psoriasis or eczema? Like I, Oh, that'd be cool if it worked for eczema. I, I don't know the answer to that. So I want to contact the company because I'm having such a wonderful experience right. just for the tendonitis. So I wanted to share that with you. But while I'm doing acupuncture... It's so nice because I am doing a few things. I'm doing my meditation and my prayer during that time. And boy, when my session's over, Ashley, I am so calm and relaxed. And the reason why we're going over all this today is you need to relax your body. You need to do things for yourself. You need to daily healing is what I like to call Mm. it from the stress of the world, whatever. It really does come out in your skin, I think. And you can tell when somebody has a lot on them or they're not taking care of themselves or taking time for themselves. So I really like to, to do that. It's made a big difference. It's nice because she has like a chimes playing and then the sound bowls and, and you're just like, you just escape and you're, you're so zen. Ooh. It's my one thing every week that I'm like, this is my hour. That's nice. So nice. In the AM, I have been lately... I usually have been jumping to my coffee, but lately the last, and this is a new thing. So I'm just letting you know, it's been two weeks. Okay. I have been, because Ellison is now in preschool. So instead, normally I would just go straight to my coffee, get breakfast, we eat breakfast together, whatever. Now I have been waiting and I have my coffee. I drop him off first. So I have lemon water. I usually take it with me too. And then I go out on the porch. Hot lemon water? Warm, not like warm because I can't really drink hot, but yeah. Okay, yeah. And then I go out on my porch and there's this little area where I can just look up and I see the sunrise Ooh. and I'm just getting sun in my eyes and I'm detoxing with that lemon water. So when you're detoxing, you're pulling out all those toxins, that's really going to help your skin. And I know in the morning you do something too, don't you? Yeah. So this is what I've started to do in the past three weeks is I used to do the same thing, just like run to my coffee. And instead what I do the first thing in the morning while my stomach is empty is I do an adrenal cocktail. And so I fill up a glass of water. I put one scoop of the adrenal cocktail in there and that's supposed to help with your minerals. It's really supposed to support your adrenal glands, which is important for stress management, you know, calming your nerves. It's just, it's so important. Now you talked about your adrenal cocktail last time. Now, 
Go over that again. Well, it's a, I put it in a glass of water and I researched what types, you know, cause you want to get a good quality one. So I got one from a jigsaw. And so I just, and I don't put any ice in there or anything. It's just, you know, my normal filtered water. And then it's lukewarm and then I put a scoop in there and I mix it. Oh, so this is a powder different. Form? Yeah, this is different. Because when like a couple of weeks ago when we were talking about it, I talked about like how I created my own. Yeah. And so I would like eat orange yeah. and then I did some other things. I can't remember. Well, you know how like when you're starting out and you discover something that you're like, oh, I need to support my adrenal glands and, and this and that. Well, this is a, because you want that whole source food of whole source vitamin okay. C. So I found this adrenal cocktail. So instead of me having to like drink it with coconut water and do like this three-step process, yeah. like I just don't have time for that. So instead I got this powder where it's got everything in there and then I mix oh. it with my water. So it's easy because here's the thing. Here's the way I look at things. Is this the same quality as me eating an orange with the coconut water and then using the, you know, the other minerals that I was doing. I don't know, but here's what I do know. Consistency is super important. Can I, and will I put that adrenal cocktail scoop in my water every morning and drink it? Yeah. Yes, I will. You'll keep it up. I will keep it up. So that's where I'm like, that's what I do. And then what I do try to do, because I do try to get a whole source of vitamin C. And especially right now where oranges and clementines are in season, I'm eating that, but I'm just doing it in the afternoon. So that's what I do. And then the other thing, just like you, is that I try to get the sun in my eyeball. And I do that two ways. I either when I'm driving over here to Lindsay's house, I have the sun like literally in my eyes you as would, I'm driving. Because you come here so early. Yep. And then or I will, if it's not a Lindsay day, I will go in my backyard and throw the ball to my dog. Waggles. Yeah. While before I go upstairs to my computer or maybe a little bit for my brain break that because they say this, you need to set your circadian rhythm. And when you get the sun in your eye, it's going to give you energy throughout the day. I think that's true. I totally know it's true because it, I think it was last week where we had that patch of like five days without sun. I was so tired every day. Like I just want to sleep. That's when we did our blues. Episode. Oh, winter blues. <laughs> I was going to say about the adrenal cocktail. You said you don't know if it you know, is it better or whatever? But you could probably ask yourself, how do you feel? I like, feel amazing. Well, then there's your answer. Because I'll tell you something. I am. And the other thing that I'm coupling that with, you know, a Swiss filtered coffee, because I used to also have caffeine in the morning. So I substitute the adrenal cocktail and then I'll have my coffee and I've just, I'm just calmer. Like my nerves are settled. You know, I'm not like, oh, <laughs> you know, that kind of crap. <laughs> so I'm just, I don't know. I, I just feel we so really much better. like purity coffee. And they have a great Swiss filter decaf. Yep. I have mine on subscription. And then that way, you know that you are getting just a really good quality coffee. Yeah. I haven't had, I rarely have caffeine anymore. I know. And well, I, don't, I do with my matcha. Oh, you do with your matcha? Yeah. Okay. But I rarely have caffeine anymore. I don't need it. It's just so delicious. And then I add. Yeah. It doesn't that, taste like a decaf coffee because usually if you get the normal decaf coffee, I don't know. There's like some. Yeah, you can taste it. And I have been, I don't have, I'm off dairy right now because of my endometriosis. So I have that layered creamer and it's coconut powder uh -huh. and it's delicious. Coconut milk powder is delicious. So that is a option for you. Oh, you know what else is delicious? You're going to love this y'all. Okay. So this is good. This, this is, is good. This is a good one that I, and I'm so proud of myself. Don't you love it when, good you, job, find, Ashley. when you find something you're like, oh my God, that is awesome. And it delivered like it promised. We just had it. We just had it before the show. We just had it before the show because I was so excited to get this package in. I was like, let's test it, you know, to make sure it tastes good before we talk about it. Because I already knew all the ingredients were like quality ingredients. So one thing that you want to stack in your day somehow is getting collagen because collagen is the most abundant protein in your body. Y'all, it makes up 30% of our total protein content. So I just want you to think that it's like, I need it for my knees and my joints yep, You need it for your joints, your knees, especially as you get up older, but it just maintains the structure of your skin and you know, your muscle tissues, the bones, you just, it's just, I'm sure you've heard it before, but it's just like the glue that holds everything together. So what I do is we found this new bone broth and it's chocolate. Let's just say this. This esthetician has been up to something, <laughs> something exciting. I have been busy, busy, busy creating exciting new skincare videos using my personal skincare methods that I practice in my spa. Yes. Listen, I just want to mention 
just a couple of videos I am so incredibly proud to share with you. I am so excited. My high frequency series. Oh my gosh, you're going to love it. And Ashley, she is over the moon on this one. My secrets to properly exfoliate using skincare tools. Oh, and product reviews of skincare products. The product reviews were highly requested by the way. So we are so excited to be bringing into that inside our app. I will release a new video every single week. So get that. So all of these are exclusive app only videos that are performed by me. Your esthetician. I have over 13 years experience and I am just so beyond proud and ex so excited to share this Lapri beauty app with you. So it's very easy. All you have to do is head to lindsayholder.com and I will see you inside. See you soon. Okay. And here's the thing. That did not taste like bone broth. It did not taste like bone broth. And that's where I was like, oh, I like the idea that's of drinking a chocolate first bone time. broth, but it was delicious. But first not time. only is it delicious, but here's what really makes me love this collagen product. Most collagen powders, okay, and peptides and all that stuff that you get, there's going to be a couple of things that you're not aware of because, or maybe you are, but I wasn't aware of this. The processing, it goes through to get into that powder form. It's usually heavily processed with chemical solvents. I didn't know this. Yeah, chemical solvents. So it's like, Gross. you're like, oh, I'm doing a good thing. I'm peptizing collagen in my fear, whatever. And it's like, along with a bunch of other crap that's like harming yourself. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, most collagen out there comes from the hide and fingernails from the animal. This collagen that we have comes from the bones of the animal. And I think that's called their hooves. Is that what it is? What did I call them? Fingernails. <laughs> Shut up. Did I, call I them fingernails? I want to see a cow's fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> Where is oh that God, at? In their up. toenails? Yeah. Do they need a pedicure? Up, oh they God. need some manicurist. <laughs> I had this visual. I was like, I don't think that's right. <laughs> I can't. Oh my God. Anyways, it's so that's, that's cute. That's hilarious. But anyways, this one comes from their bones and you want it from their bone. The other stuff is, it's okay. But the reason why you want it from their bones is it's got even more nutrients in there. And so the way that this collagen comes about in the processing is that it is minimally processed. They like, they have a really simple drying process that they do. And it's really, it's just that and water. So I love the way that they, you know, minimally process their product. Oh. Also, hold on. Oh, I just lost it. Oh, no, no, no. And I also want to let you know this is coming from grass fed and grass finished cows where most of the other ones claim to have, oh, they're grass fed cows, but then they put them in like a feed lot at the end and give them a bunch of grains. So it's not quality. Wow. So, yeah. So that's why I'm really excited that we found this one. Now, Lindsay and I have the, we did the chocolate one. And so it would be so easy and it is going to be so easy for me to drink a cup of this every day. So the one that we had, okay, this is not an ad, by the way. We just, no, we no, just, no, and no. collagen is really good for you with your nails and hair. I don't know about the skin. I haven't seen any Send me a DM if you've seen it. I haven't seen like a true test for the skin. That's really yeah. hard to, cute. but I do it mainly for internally with your collagen. Yeah. But this one is a protein version. So it's bone broth protein, that, but we have the chocolate, vanilla, and unflavored. But I wanted to tell you there's 13 grams per scoop of protein. That's pretty darn good when you need that. But the other ingredient, so look at your, well, this is what I like about this protein. Look at your ingredients of your protein blends. I try to stay away from whey. Yeah. I have found effects on that on the skin that aren't too good. So sometimes if you feel like you're having breakouts or whatever, or what's going on with my skin, remove your whey. Mm, okay. W That's a good W-H-E-Y. -E yeah. And that's in a lot of protein powders. And I never get anything with whey in it. I don't either. The other ingredients of this one, listen to this, organic coconut milk powder. I was just talking about how I have that in my coffee. It's delicious. Organic cacao bean, organic chocolate, organic monk fruit extract, Himalayan pink salt. Yeah. I tell you the creator, Autumn, I think it's Autumn Smith. I forgot her last name. But anyways, Autumn, she really, I listened to her story because I really like to understand like, you know, the creator of the product, if they have a story and a really good reason why they started the company, because it makes, it makes a difference in their product. Because there's just like what I just said before, you can get a product that has collagen peptides in it, but, but where's the peptides coming from? Yeah, It could have no other natural flavors or anything in there, but what's the 
source. I think it's just like with our business. It's us. We care. Yeah. It is you and me. We're obviously a small business. We care. So like even the videos that we do and everything behind the scenes, like it is quality. Right. I'm so proud of it because we work so hard. We don't just slap it together. Really put just our love into it to share with others. Oh, we're, yeah. yeah. Other things that I do, and Ashley, you can chime in what you do. So this is an easy one to do your skincare. Like you could either do a facial massage and watch some, like a show that's so easy or a mask and you could. So I want it to, I know that that's what you're watching on Netflix right now. When I'm watching on Amazon, it's called Jonathan and Jesus. And it's really good because it's a documentary of the man who plays Jesus of the chosen. So it's really cool to hear his story and they're doing, he's like going to Rome and all these places, but also it's just fascinating because he's an actor playing Jesus and really, (laughs) you're going to get me for the hooves. I'm going to get you for, Oh, he's an actor playing Jesus. Folks, that ain't Jesus up there. That's he's an actor. (laughs) Just let me know that. But meaning he talks about, he's been trying to get apart for 20 years oh. and, th- and then finally he got it and they say it takes 15 to 20 his was 20 and he got small parts and whatever but it's changed the life and it even shows it's just it's interesting to watch him play jesus and have the show and then he's also in real life still managing an apartment apartment building and it shows him taking out the trash and like oh. fixing the walls and doing the paint and all of that and yeah. it also keeps saying he likes that keeps him humble and stuff and he's still in his you know little house there and then it's just really cool to see hey he's a real person yeah, and all this stuff. So I've really enjoyed watching oh. that. But so I take that time to do my facial massage or a mask, whatever. The same thing when you're doing like your devotion, an easy way to put on a mask, or I wanted to give you a tip is I like to do a dual combo, meaning sometimes I like to do a chemical exfoliant, like an acid or when it stays on your skin. So that's going to take a few minutes and then you can put your mask on. So you could do a two-part series. So you could do your exfoliant, let it sit there. Glow's got a really good one that I like. It's just like a leave-on. I love leave-on exfoliants like a, with an acid. And then I remove that and then you put on your mask. I'm a dual mask kind of person if I need to be. So that means that I'll put on a mask on my T-zone if I need to pull out some sebaceous filaments. And that's, of course, that's different from a blackhead. That's just your extra oil oxidized. I pull that out. And then on my other areas, I'll put on my hydration mask. So then I'm doing that at the same time. One thing that I really like to do is I'm really into this lately. So I do my nails about once a week, oh, once a we week know and a half. Lindsay. I think what? every podcast episode, I see the word manicurist on there. <laughs> and I mean, <laughs> is it a manicurist on one skin? I'm obsessed. We, so should, obsessed. we should have a contest to see like who can tell me <laughs> how many number of times Lindsay mentions manicurists on our podcast. I think it's like every single one. You know why? Because it they solved a need, a pain point that was in my life. Yeah. I, they solved a need that I need to. <laughs> and so I am able to now have quality nails at home and so funny because I'm on video and I have, my nails have to look good. Um, and so I took, I literally and, and, took, and I, and I need it. <laughs> I know last night I took it off last night, but I usually will. It's so, this is so therapeutic y'all. I will, I would redo my nails and, you know, get it all. It's a whole, it's a process. And while I'm listening to my vibe meditation, oh my oh, gosh, okay. it's so, and did I tell you this? I think I did mention yes, this. Yes, you did. Your aura ring calmed you down. Calm me down. It showed yeah, it. We're, we're starting to repeat. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> 147 this starting year. Starting to repeat. Repeat's going to happen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a friend told me a story this week and I didn't let them know that I had heard that story before. <laughs> Don't you hate it? Isn't that about- <laughs> And not only that, <laughs> no. it was out. There was this moment I thought, I remember the story, but not only do I remember the story, it's a long one. Yes. <laughs> and I had to endure it. And then I thought, Okay, it must have been is you know pain point for them, so I listened to it. So I thought this was my good deed for the day. Right, we've all been there. That is hysterical. My husband now says we've been married for seven years, and he's like, "Oh, there's just a new story anymore." Yeah, like they're all heard you're all done. The stories, you're done. You're all, yeah, and the jokes, right? And then, and you, the think, jokes. And then you think, oh, I'm still Miss Darius. He nails me every time. He was like, I know you're gonna do this, and he calls things out that I'm like, wow, you really do know me. Yeah, isn't that cool? scary. I love doing this. And I mentioned this before, but I absolutely love it. I do my YouTube weights with Caroline Gervain. You know, I'm obsessed with her too. So yeah. she is my weight person on YouTube that, so I am on fuel. I already did iron and it has shaped my body. Wow. It is oh, reshaped so, my so body. you're like, do, okay. Are you following the program? Oh, exactly. Awesome. I did iron. It's exactly. I'm on fuel. I'm day 14. 
So wow. my next one's 15. Wow. Like How I many minutes 14. Are, is fuel? The 30 to 40 yeah. session. Okay. She kills me though. Yesterday I was having some words with her. Yeah. Yeah. They're hard. And I, and I was like, I if went, you do one more squat went super through, set, we will have, through, I'm going to call you up, Carol. Um, <laughs> I went through Epic and then ever since I've done Epic, now I'm just searching for her 10 minute ones. Is Epic tough? They're all tough. But it was like 45 minutes and I was yeah. like this. Oh yeah. They're tough, but shaped. It has. I know. Really. I got to get back on the hard ones. If you, ladies. But I hurt myself. Want, so that's why I'm like gingerly going back into it. Yeah. yeah. Well, Gingerly get back, yeah. Gingerly get back into it, ladies. If you want hot mama spring, Caroline Gervain. This is what I do. I can't listen to those, dun, 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 those beats the whole time. I can't do it. So I listen to a podcast while I work out. So I feel like it's so much more calming, by the way. But I listen to something that's very interesting to me. Yes, and it goes by so much faster. It does fact, the music. It does. Yeah, like I don't even want it to end because me too. Exactly. That was the biggest tip that you gave me because before I was just listening to music and it's, and again, like at the beginning, it's fun to listen to music, but then you start to be like this, oh, hurry up. But with the podcast is different. Plus she just plays the same songs. I'm like, if I hear this one, <laughs> yeah, the podcast mixes it up and I'm interested. Hey, you can listen to our podcast. That's right. <laughs> you can binge listen. I do. I binge listen to other people's podcasts. Why I do that. So that is a way of taking care of yourself. Other ways that I, and Ashley, you can chime in too. We walk together. And so when we walk together during our little breaks, we talk, but when I'm by myself, I will either listen to just nature. I'll just not have anything on. Yeah. Right. Yes. I think that's really important. Always wanting to be so stimulated. And sometimes y'all, you just need to turn the noise off. Do you know, I did that before we because I was writing a lot and doing a lot. And before we record this podcast, I told Lizzie, I go, oh, I just got to get outside and just walk for a minute. I go, before I go on the podcast, my brain was like mush. And I was looking for, I couldn't find my headphones because I was like, ah, what am I going to listen to? I, I got to, you know, listen to something. And I was like, no, yeah, you go outside and you listen to the birds. You listen to the birds. And it's boring. I'm not going to lie. It's boring. And I did not want to listen to the birds. But when I came back, I was refreshed. Yeah. Ashley's really good. If y'all don't know what she does, she's the copywriter of the brand. And if you signed up for the webinar and you got all those emails, that's Ashley. She wrote all of those. I mean, I can't do everything. She does such a good job at the emails that come out. You subscribe to our newsletter at lindsayholder.com. You're going to get some zingers come in. They, they are. are so cute. And her gifs crack me up. I used to approve all the newsletters and now I'm just so busy. I'm like, well, Whatever, whatever goes out, goes out now. And I will open up my email. I get the Friday, it comes out every Friday. I look yeah. forward to it and I crack at her chips. <laughs> so we have tips in the newsletter. We have a lots of fun stuff. So just go to lindsayholder.com, subscribe for our newsletter and you will see what I'm talking That's about. That's my it. favorite part of my job is doing is the newsletter. The I like seriously love it. You're really good. I love in it. Fact, the last newsletter that came out, I even said, I said, wow, this was really good. Thank you. Cause you're just really personable. And so mm -hmm. it's really cute. So good job on that. But if I'm not listening, if I've had it with the birds and I'm ready to turn something <laughs> on, then I will obviously listen to either music and it's, I rarely listen to music. Honestly, it's more a podcast. It's mainly a podcast or it's an audible book. Um, if I do listen to music, it's not your traditional music. I am listening to meditations mm. or I'm listening to, I think the most zippy music would be bossa nova. <laughs> I will tell you this. This is a fun one because I want to tell y'all before you do the Caroline Gervain weights, you always need to warm up, do a warm up over something. So on YouTube, I'll do like a three to five minute warm up. And I haven't told this to Lindsay y'all. Oh my gosh, you're going to love me for this. You might or even know him. There's this guy on YouTube called the fitness marshal. Have you ever heard of him no. before? Oh my God, you're going to love him. So I just do one of his freebie. He'll have like this five minute dance workout. His humor is hysterical. And he's got like, you know, just the pop music or whatever. And it's these dance routines. And um, this is what he does for a living. So let me just tell you all this. Every time I do this before my video, number one, it puts me in a fantastic mood because his humor is hysterical. And every single person in my family stops. Reeves will come walking through and he will stop and watch me and listen to this guy and snicker. Really? Ryan, Ryan will come out of his office and look over the balcony. And then Penelope this last time started joining 
joining in because it, he makes it so fun. It's your warm ups. It's my warm ups. Gotcha. And then what fitness marshal? And then what I end up doing actually, this is what I've been doing here lately, is they're so fun and he puts me in such a good mood. I will do like three of them in a row. And then finally I'm like, gosh, you got to get to your like weightlifting <laughs> workout. But they're just so fun. I'm totally looking him up. Yeah. And he's just, it's hysterical. You have never told me this. I can't believe I haven't told you this. No. Okay. I'm totally looking him up. So I'll do that. Once you're done with fitness marshal, then get your podcast out. Get our podcast out. Other things, very really quickly, just to go through it. Easy peasy. Unload the dishwashers with your face mask on. Or what I really like to do is I'm a big proponent of wearing your silicone matches during the day. Even like a Saturday, if you're around the house or whatever, you're doing all your chores. I personally prefer my silicone patches on during the morning. I did try and wear them the other night. First of all, my son looks at me, he's baby, like, what is on your face, mommy? Aww. But also I woke up and they were all in my hair. And really? I thought I just toss and turn you so must much. Toss and turn. I've been wearing mine at night and they stick up. They stay on. And then when I take them off in the morning, I'm like, this is insane. I have, it's like, I have no wrinkles. It's a wonderful. So same thing during the day. You can just, I put them on right after breakfast and then you just do everything I need around the house. And after lunch, then I can pull them off. Yeah. I'm prepping my skin. Another reason why I'm like, oh, I got to look good is because um, this week I'm going to this um, new lunar festival for the year of the dragon. If y'all don't know, this is the year of the dragon in Chinese culture. And that's like a really big year because this, this is the year of Lux. I'm going there and I'm seeing, you know, everybody at my children's school and stuff. So I am been prepping my skin for this last week with derma good. rolling and the silicone patches. Yeah. I mean, what a difference, Ashley. Thank you. And it also gives people and hope. And laser too to like do it all together. For long-term results. It gives people hope that you can get your skin together pretty quickly. Yeah. Well, and I also have to, because everybody knows what I do. So it's, I can't walk in there just no, like, you can't, you uh, can't be looking like I'm representing. Right, us. right, right. So, and everybody comes up to me and it's so cute because everybody always says, they, it is so cute when they come to me. Hey, how you doing? So I have this um spot right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it's really flattering. You should, the amount of texts and DMs that I get, and I just can't answer DM questions. I just can't anymore. But my friends will text me about like, hey, what about this? What about that? Yeah. I get this too. I it's love so, it. It's so funny. It's- and the same thing with your Lima laser. You can do any of the things that we mentioned to, well, not any of the things, but mainly watch TV. <laughs> yeah, because you're using it in your hand. Or so- outside, you could sit outside on the porch and have your mocktail of chlorophyll or your general cocktail. You could do that and watch the dog. I just kind of thought of that. Just so you're having that stack there. Yeah, yeah so, you could do that. Yeah, so hopefully we hope that these are just some of the skin beauty and wellness hacks that we put together. We would love to hear what you love. And I'm just reaching over looking at the time because what time is it? How long have we been on here? In 40 minutes. But it's so funny because every time Lindsay and I are such jabberwalkers, we're like, we're like, oh, this will be a super short one. You know, it'd be good to have a super short one for our audience. You know, everyone doesn't have to be so long. And it's like, is it jabberwalkers or jabberwalkers? Is it jabberwalkers from um, I don't know Star what Wars? Is. Or did I just make that up? I don't Along with the toenails and the um, fingernails from all those cows. I don't know. You keep it. You keep it lively. Oh, oh, I will. Just so you know, Jesus person. (laughs) That's not him, by the way. That's. He is portraying a character. Wow. <laughs> Not a character. He's portraying. <laughs> well, we hope that this helped you and we hope that you are on your way to your skin, beauty, and wellness stack for this week to help you look refreshed, rejuvenated, and feel amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you next week. Same time, same place. Until next time. Wait, don't go just yet. I've got something fun to tell you. Have you subscribed to our newsletter? Okay. We have a newsletter where you get all of our exclusive tips mixed in with our tricks, our favorite hacks, or products that this esthetician is using straight to your inbox weekly. Of course, this is mixed in with sisterly fun, beautiful graphics, and Ashley's interesting memes. They crack me up, y'all. All you have to do is so simple. Just go to our show notes and we have the link actually right there to the newsletter. It's so easy. Or if you want, you can also go to lindsayholder.com and sign up. That's lindsayholder.com. And that's Lindsay with an E and sign up today. See you inside.